Hello friends, in this video I'd like to solve the following problem from the Romanian District Mathematical Olympiad, 10th grade, 2005, problem number 2. We wish to find all functions f from the set of uh, pairs of integers into the, into the set of real numbers, satisfying f of yz, f of zx, f of xy equals 1, and f of x plus 1, x equals 2, for all integers x, y, and z. So our function takes pairs of arguments and returns single real values. Uh, so here are my hints for this problem. First, set x, y, and z to be the same to find f of x, x. Then, set y to be z and express f of y, x in terms of f of x, y. It should be possible. And finally, set z to be x plus 1 and use induction to get to the, the formula. Actually, you may wish to use induction twice in the process. We'll give this problem a try and I will see you in just a minute. Right, so let's start, as I suggested, let's call our equation asterisk, as I like to do, and let's set x, y, and z to be the same. In our condition, asterisk. Then we have the following. On the left-hand side, we have f of x, x, three times, so it's cubed, equals 1. And since our function takes real values, the only possibility is that f of x, x is 1. It would be a different story in the set of complex numbers, but no matter. Then, set just y and z to be the same in our equation asterisk. What then? Then we have f of yz, but z is y, so f of yy, y, f of y x, f of x y equals 1. Now f of y y is 1, as we know it. So we can actually invert and we'll get f of y x equals 1 over f of x y. Let's remember this and let's also remember that. Of course our function cannot take the value of 0 because we will get a contradictory equation 0 equals 1. And now finally let's set z to be x plus 1 in our equation asterisk. One last time. What then? Then we have the following. f of yz, f of yz times f of zx, f of xy equals 1. And now I will do the following. First of all, this first expression f of y x plus 1, using our condition, which I will mark triple asterisk, it's just the same as 1 over f of x plus 1 y. Well, the second part, what about the second part? The second part is equal to 2, or do I know it, because of my second assumption, by double asterisk f of x plus 1x is 2 by condition double asterisk. So it's times, let's put it lower, so it's times 2 times f of xy equals 1. And let's put this orange expression on the other side and we will get the following recursion. f of x plus 1y equals 1. 2 f of x y. And now, notice that the second argument is the same, and every time we increase the first argument by 1, uh, the value doubles. So by easy induction, I will leave the details to you, the induction is really, really easy. By induction, by induction, for every, for every two integers x and y, f of x, y can be written as 2 to the power of x, f of 0, y. 
yes? Every because every time I increase argument by one, the value doubles, so it's exponential function. All right, but we don't know uh, f of zero y. How can we find f of zero y? Well, actually, it's pretty easy, because note, note now that f of zero y using one of the properties, I believe using property triple asterisk, we can change the order of arguments. We can change the order of arguments, but we have to invert. So by triple asterisks, we will get one over f of y zero. But using this equation, which, I, which is highlighted above, f of y zero, it's just uh, two to the power of y, f of zero zero. And what is f of zero zero? Well, remember that f of x x is every time it's one, so it's one over two to the power of y, which gives us the following: that for every real numbers, it uh, for every integers x and y, f of x y is 2 to the power of x times 1 over 2 to the power of y, which can be written compactly as 2 to the power x minus y. And this is actually our solution set, but let's do verification to be sure. Let's do verification. So we have two equations to verify. First equation, f of y z f of z x f of x y well it's 2 to the power y minus z 2 to the power z minus x 2 to the power x minus y so it's obviously one it's verified and let's verify the second equation f of x plus one x it's 2 to the power x plus one minus x is 2 to the first power, it's 2. So both equations are verified and we have our solution set. We have exactly one function satisfies our equation and that function is f of x, y equals 2 to the power x minus 1, y. And that closes our problem. So yes, a very nice problem. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that you've learned something new this time and I will see you next time. Goodbye.